Hi there, it's Martha, and if you're new, welcome, and if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is an exciting video, super fun, and I'm super thankful um, that uh, that this video tag is going around because I think it's super fun. So this is about sharing your top five vendors and your favorite scents from those vendors, and Summer Michelle and Tara from Tara's Fragrance World started this and Summer Summer Michelle tagged me and then Alexis also tagged me. So thank you both for tagging me and thinking of me. Uh, this is a tag video, but it doesn't mean you have to be tagged to do the video. So please, it's just a way to start it off. So please, if you wanna share your favorites, we'd all love to hear it. Um, definitely do the video. Um, and then we start to lose track on who gets tagged anyway. So it's, it's really just jump right in. Uh, but I will share who I am tagging at the end of this video. And I'm going to share a little bit about, um, kind of my criteria because I started down this, this rabbit hole. I jumped down the rabbit hole of vendor wax probably late last year. And my first vendor was Harper James. And, uh, and then, you know, I wanted to try more and more. And there's so many of you on YouTube that I watch and then you'd haul some new vendor, new to me vendor. And I'd be like, ah, oh, I got to try that. Oh, that sounds so good. So it is a very slippery slope once you start going down the vendor trail. And I've tried very, very hard to stay to just a few, but this past month I've really expanded even more. So I will have some honorable mentions. They're not in my top because it's too early to tell. Like I've just tried them once, uh, but the rest, the ones I'm going to share today, I've definitely ordered from multiple times. So they're kind of tried and true. Um, you know, I've, I've uh, melted the wax in my home and I could tell you that they're ones that I would repurchase again and again. So that is a little bit of how I came to these vendors and, um, also the, the ones I'm going to share there's, it's so hard to pick five, five favorites. I might've picked a couple extra in some cases, but, um, also I wanted to actually show you the wax. So, uh, there could be like an all time favorite that I just don't have any right now. So I'll kind of mention that as well, but anyway, let's get started. Okay, I'm just gonna pick what's closest to me. So this isn't a rank from like top vendor to like number five. It's just top five. There is no order to these, um, but I am picking what is closest to my legs right here, which is Rose Girl. So this is the first one that I'm going to choose from. And Rose Girls might've been my second. No, that's not true. <laughs> but it's definitely one that I've, I think I might have the most of as far as wax. And one of the things that I uh, enjoy about Rose Girls is she does have RTSs often. She also has pre-orders. I do like that uh, some vendors have have both because sometimes I don't want to wait eight weeks and I could just jump on the RTS um, or I can jump on the RTS after I've watched some people hauling their pre-orders. So I get a good sense of like, ooh, okay, I'm going to see if I can get that or that. I also like the idea of pre-orders because sometimes it does feel a little bit like Game of Thrones, you know, or, or, um, or, uh, what's that other movie? Hunger Games, I guess. Hunger Games of like, you, you, you're like stressing about jumping in on an RTS and then, you know, just to have things taken out of your cart. So Rose Girls, I think has a nice combination of both pre-order and, um, and RTS, which is, ready to ship. Uh, and I've just really fallen in love with some of her scents. I also love that, you know, they're just kind of ease of just dropping in a cube. I don't have to chop. I don't have to cut up things. Uh, most of them come in these like mini melters, I think. Uh, and although she has done shapes and other things like that, but these are like my favorite, uh, to just jump in and pick. And so websites easy to navigate. Um, she's got them kind of all on the front page and you can just pick and choose. And so for that reason, I really enjoyed Rose girl and Rose girls. And I've just love some of her wax. So some of my favorites and one of the first favorites that I fell in love with is her Sicilian lemon cookie kind of anything with Sicilian lemon cookie, I'm going to love. I love lemon with bakery. And this one is Sicilian lemon cookie and French toast. I have gone in and purchased multiples of these in the past. Um, I think this is a fairly new bag or newer bag, even though it's from February. And um, I just love this lemon. 
It is so good. And then you mix it with that sweetness from the French toast, that kind of bakery note. This is definitely one that I've repurchased and loved. Another one that was a little bit of a like, for me, wild card, because I had no idea what coastal kale smelled like. And I gave this one a try. This one is level up. And I was like, oh, I need more coastal kale. This level up is amazing. This is blueberry, coastal kale, satsuma, and raindrops. The There's something just fresh about the coastal kale. I love, absolutely love the satsuma in here. And it's just so nice. And this was one that right off the bat, I mean, I didn't even really wait for this to cure. I dropped these in pretty early on and it just smelled, it just, you know, the whole room just like lit up with this scent. So this is a fantastic one. I really enjoy this and definitely one that I would go back and repurchase. Then I have these that are fairly newer to me, but it was like love, love at first to sniff. <laughs> this one is Fire, Mar Far Fire Mario Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. Um, and the coffee in this, in the Fire Mario, I've not tried just Fire Mario on its own, but the coffee in this mixed with that Christmas um, or cookies, Christmas Eve in Cookie Land is fantastic. But this coffee, is really, really good. And I love this one. And I love the Christmas, um, Christmas Eve in Cookie Land. So that's another one that I just have here. This is, this is uh, notes of eggnog, which I've fallen in love with eggnog. Give me anything with eggnog. I might, I've actually had to temper myself from buying everything with eggnog because I'm like, I don't want to get sick of it. But this is eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie. Her monster cookie and royal sugar cookie is fabulous. Marshmallow smoothie. And I also love her donut holes. So this is one that I've smelled this bag so many times that I ripped it because I just can't get enough. So I do have this one double bagged, but I do really love her Christmas Eve uh, in Cookie Land. You you may also notice that a lot of the scents that I'm going to choose, I am, I do have a bias toward fall and winter. It's just my favorite season. Um, I do love fruity scents in the summer, but I'm starting to feel like, okay, I'm a little starting to get a little over my fruity scents um, just because it's been a while. This next one is Mario's Home for the Holidays. And this is Christmas Wish, Oh Christmas Tree, Toasted Marshmallow, Royal Sugar Cookie, and Vanilla Bean Noel. I love a blend that has like woodsy notes with bakery notes. So that's another thing you're going to see in this video. And I just love that combination of this woodsy and then sweet bakery. And that's what is in Mario's home for the holidays. So I didn't kind of name off all the notes. I hope that's okay, but just kind of giving you the names of what's in some of these. And so for that reason, Rose Girl is one of my top favorites. It's just like easy to navigate, easy to buy from, lots of great blends. I love her coffee. I love the ease of just plopping in a little cube in a warmer and it's a, you know, it performs for me. I, you know, although there are some that are hit and miss, I'm finding out that maybe some like pineapple scents or maybe some ultra like grapefruit or very citrusy scents, not so much like the Sicilian lemon, um, can be hit and miss, but these kind of bakery, coffee, donut holes, those definitely work for me. Um, there is another one that I don't think I have anymore. At least I didn't see it. Um, is good night moon, good night moon from Rose girls. I don't have, it is a favorite and I've kind of put it in my spreadsheet as a must buy. And I can't believe that in this last RTS last weekend, I did not put it in the cart. <laughs> I, can't, I thought I had one. And as I was looking through stuff, I'm like, no, no, I ran out. So good night moon is a uh, kind of a, it's lilac, um, peppermint. And I can't remember what else is in there, but it's definitely a favorite of mine from Rose girls. So next, uh, next thing that is in front of me here is sassy girl aroma. So sassy girl aroma and is definitely top. No question. Um, is her, I guess her catalog of scents. I love beach nights. She has so many blends with beach nights. And I love that every, almost every Friday, sometimes she'll skip a Friday, but almost every single Friday she's going to have, I mean, it seems like at least 30 scents 
different scents from the one she offered the week before. Uh, and there's just so many scents that I haven't even tried, but I will say hands down, um, when I get a haul from Sassy Girl, I'm like, like the, my eyes are rolling like in the back of my head because it's just so good. So she is pre-order only. So you do need to have a little patience. I think, you know, you with that. And, um, and I don't, I kind of feel like for the most part, her blends are ready to go. They naturally cure just because I do like to warm older things first, but, um, I've just had absolutely like great, great performance. I don't find her to be hit and miss. There might be one or two, but out of like the 30 that I've purchased, it's a really small amount. And I just love the different blends that she offers. So and I love her blackberry. I absolutely love her blackberry jam. So I don't mind waiting the about five weeks. So that's not bad for a pre-order at all. It kind of tends to go a little bit quickly. And um, she, for a while there, she's kind of thinking about going back, Has uh, was combining two weeks at a time. So if people were buying two weekends in a row, you can have them all shipped at once and not have to pay shipping multiple, you know, for multiple times. Um, I know that it's also... She's, she's thinking about whether she wants to keep that or not, but she's another one where, you know, you go on her Facebook page, you make a list of what you want and you just place an order. So the beauty of pre-orders is you can take your time. Uh, no one's going to steal things out of your cart <laughs> and, and she, and things I notice tend to come back every, I don't know. It feels like every few months, some of those, the popular ones will come back. So I do feel like these, the ones that I'm going to show you. I'll be able to get again because they do seem to be pretty popular. Um, but there's still so many that I haven't tried. But the first thing I'm going to call out here is Green Machine. Green Machine is pistachio. Let's see. This, her labels, though, I do, do need my glasses. Hers is pistachio, sugar cookie, zucchini, and marshmallow. I absolutely love her pistachio. And Green Machine was one of the first ones I tried. And it's like my favorite. She has a lot of pistachio blends. But this is the one where I'm like, I'm in love and I only have this much left. So half of a cube or half of a brittle bar, I should say, um, and absolutely love it. Now, as far as coffee goes, I love my coffee scents and, and you'll see it, I think in some other vendors here, but her flips coffee, and I'm sorry, this doesn't look pretty, <laughs> but this is her flips coffee. And this is salted caramel, pretzel, latte, and sugar cookies. This is fantastic. There is something about the, there's something just about the caramel, the pretzel and the sugar cookies with this coffee in here with a latte. It's creamy, it's sweet. And I remember I texted my friends and I'm like, I need more of this, absolutely more of this. So this, the reason it looks like this is because my friend gave me a good chunk of her brittle bar and I need to get more. So whenever, Whenever I'm planning on placing another order from Sassy Girl, I'm definitely, definitely going to have to buy more, but Flips Coffee, if you like coffee and you like sweet coffee, it is so, so good. All right. This one, yes, it's a full brittle, but I have warmed uh, it. Again, my friend had given me a sample of Oath, which I warmed. And Oath is another one where it's kind of a woodsy scent, but also you have a little bit of the sweetness from like marshmallow and some other things like that. So this is toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. And I just, again, you'll see, I, I have a, I have a pattern here. I do love woodsy notes with sweet notes and the pine cone in here is just lovely. It's basically, it's basically like her beach nights with a little bit of pine cones. That's basically what it is. And her beach nights is fantastic. So absolutely love this. And I'm looking forward to warming this, this fall and winter. Then we have Ortega. Ortega is, let's see, beach nights, blueberry and pink chiffon. Um, and that is Ortega. And this is another one. I just, I think everything I have probably is beach nights <laughs> and it's so good. It's sweet and delicious. And I just love the blueberry note in here. It's a really, really pretty blue note, blueberry, and it's blended very, very well. Um, okay. Schnockered. 
I'm telling you, I love eggnog. And if it's a boozy eggnog, then for sure. When I first got this one, literally, I think my eyes rolled the back of my head because I was like, how can this smell so amazing? It's eggnog, vanilla bourbon, buttercream, and spiced nutmeg. This is just, if you love eggnog and you like a boozy eggnog, you're going to have to try this. I definitely can, I can smell the bourbon. I can smell the bourbon, but with the buttercream and the spices and the eggnog, it's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Fantastic. Okay. Adam's beach party. I mean, there's so many, this is so hard because I probably, besides Rose Girls, I probably have the most, you know, second most in Sassy Girl Aroma. And this is Adam's Beach Night, Beach Party, sorry. Adam's Beach Party. It's strawberry pound cake, toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, and s'more. So basically, <laughs> so it's basically her beach nights with strawberry. Um, I also have um, Montego Bay, which is blackberries with her beach nights. But this is so pretty. Her strawberry pound cake mixed with the beach nights is fantastic. Um, I know this has been mentioned on, uh, I know Summer Michelle, I think, I think she picked this one as well. Um, but how can you not? It's Adam's beach party from Sassy Girl Aroma. And then I will do an honorable mention. I haven't warmed this. I've, there's two and I didn't bring the other one, but, uh, I'm so glad that I purchased Black Hood. It's just a beautiful, perfumey, smoky, uh, scent. So that is something that isn't beach nights from Sassy Girl Aroma. And this is another one, Return to Oz. I know Melanie from Bright House, Bright, I, wow, why am I struggling? Bright House Scents, um, recently emptied an empty, uh, with this in it. And this is absolutely fantastic. So if you like pumpkin pecan waffles, salted caramel, blackberry jam, there's her blackberry again, uh, cookies and zucchini bread. This is another one that I'm, I mean, I'm going to warm and really, really, really soon. So, uh, that is sassy girl aroma. There's, there's more. I mean, I pretty much any of her pistachio. I really like, I have over there. I'm not going to show you, but it's pistachio at Disneyland, I think. So that's a nice mix. So if she's got pistachio and something I'm buying it. I just really love, love her scents. Okay. Next. I'll move over here. This is lavender and speckles. So lavender and speckles. I also bought late last year. So I think I got it in December. I don't know when she started, but I did start purchasing lavender and speckles in December. And I'd have to say she's probably tied for how many hauls of lavender and speckles I've done. Um, Beth is so sweet. And she just, her blends are beautiful. Um, I love that. Um, and Alexis mentioned this in her video. So if you followed me, followed me or came here from watching Alexis video, um, she mentions this too. She is very active on Facebook. I mean, all the time she gives you updates, videos. I mean, I just really adore Beth and I love her sense and, um, just recently, this is one I'm going to share, uh, pine cones and beach nights. I got this in a most recent haul and I was like, I love this. I have to have more. And it wasn't on her pre-order. So she has a pre-order going right now this weekend. Uh, and it wasn't on there. And I asked, and in, I, I don't think I was the only one who asked, but I asked if she could include this and she did. So she listens to her customers. She really wants to offer, a lot of blends and a lot of things that people like and um, she about everything. I think Charity had asked if she could make bigger bags instead of just her, you know, her small bags. And she has. So she really listens to her customers. She really tries to accommodate. And uh, Beth is just such a sweetheart. And so anyway, Lavender and Speckles is another top vendor of mine. This one here is Pine Cones and Beach Nights. Her Pine Cones Fantastic. So pretty much if she's offering pine cones, which I already placed my order this weekend, um, I'm buying it because her pine cone oil is amazing. I love, love, love it. So this is pine cones and beach nights. I have pine cones and spice, which I picked up last year or early this year. Um, and this is roasted pine cones, cinnamon buns and spice. So definitely... I I'm in love with her pine cones. I'm in love with her pine cones, her beach nights. Oh, 
her strawberry pound cake is delicious. Her coffee. I'm like, I know I had to put some coffee in here because her coffee, if you like it strong, like if you want strong black coffee, not sweet, not with like a bunch of other stuff. She has several coffee blends, which I love. So there's like jumbo coffee. There's coffee, coffee, coffee. There's, I think, coffee with a shot of cynicism. I have all those. I have all those. Um, but I did pick this one that is a coffee house. So it's got other things. This is breakfast at the dragonfly. And this is this is being offered <laughs> this weekend. Uh, so hopefully I get this up uh, by Saturday. Um, this is coffee house and speckles birthday cake. And which is birthday cake blended with sugar cookies, pecan waffles, cin uh, cinnamon, vanilla, and lots of Palo Santo. It's the other thing. I love her Palo Santo. So, I mean, pretty much <laughs> I love everything. Um, and this is fantastic. This is a great strong coffee, but it's also got a little bit of sweetness without making it overly sweet. And her, her coffee is like a, a dark roast. It's not a latte. It's a dark roast coffee. And I love this one. That's, it has a little bit of sweetness from the cake and the cinnamon. Oh, it's, it's, it's a great one. So if you uh, enjoy that, that is breakfast at the dragonfly. Another thing that I love about, I, I, yeah, it's so hard to choose. In fact, here, here's the thing. I do have quite a bit of lavender and speckles. She's taken up a whole drawer of mine. I kind of went in the drawer and go, mm, I only have room for like four bags in here. <laughs> so my pre-order better be small. Well, it's not. It's not. So, and and I'll, I'll be okay. I'll be okay with fitting this all in there because I have about eight weeks to start, <laughs> start using up more of my lavender and speckles, which I will easily do. But... I only have one left to this and I have it in a little bag. I put the the actual lavender and speckles bag in the round robin that I was doing. Uh, there was a round robin. And so I have one left that I kept for myself, but this is frosted lemon pound cake. I love, I love a lemon bakery scent. And this is, this smells to me exactly like a lemon pound cake. You get the icing, you get the lemon bakery. Uh, and I have this one little, one little thing left, uh, and it's fantastic. So I did want to kind of mention that even though it's not, it's not in a pretty bag. Um, the other thing that I love about Beth and I've, I've gotten several is I also didn't bring it in this haul cause I was trying to limit myself to like five or six cents, but her lilac, her lilac is beautiful. So this is the second time I've gotten lilac and marshmallow fireside. Uh, it is just it's so, it's just a pretty blend of this soft floral. It's powdery. I do like powdery scents and I find her lilac to be, it's powdery, but mixed with the marshmallow fireside is just absolutely beautiful. And so I do enjoy her, enjoy her lilac a lot. I also have here, um, lilac clouds and beach nights. I'm warming this right now. So again, it's just lilac with anything is going to be fantastic. It's a beautiful oil that she has. Um, and, and last but not least, just because it's being offered this weekend is Sookie and the wedding cake. So, um, if you do go check out lavender and speckle, she has a pre-order going on this weekend. And, um, a lot of it is she's got like her Gilmore girls, um, being offered again. Uh, and this is from Gilmore girls. This is Sookie and the wedding cakes. And it's just, again, her cakes, her bakery, uh, is just fantastic. So this is kind of like a little honorable mention. That is delicious. Absolutely delicious. Um, and this is notes of, let's see, rich, moist white cake with hints of silky white chocolate and sweet cream, frosted almond cookies, and the richest buttercream in bourbon infused marshmallow. So I think I put more than five here on lavender and speckles because it was just really hard to choose and hard to stay away, obviously, because I wasn't going to buy from her pre-order this this time around. And I just I, I'm like, I have to I have to. They're just so beautiful. So that is lavender and speckles. OK, we have let's see two more. 
All right, and this next one is um, Harper James. So Harper James was the first vendor. She'll always be the first. Uh, and you don't forget the first. So she is the first vendor that I tried. And um, one of the reasons she's in my top is because I have purchased multiple of her, her blends. Um, I have some of my favorites are in here like that I just absolutely love. And, um, and I love that she also, similar to like Lavender and Speckles, I mean, they all are, I shouldn't say like the vendors, but she's definitely, I think, very interactive on her Facebook page, really listens to her customers. Um, I know she does customs as well. I don't know if she's doing it as often as maybe she was like a year ago, but I believe she does if she has the time to do it. And, um, you know, she, she listens and asks for what people want on the pre-orders and she offers what she can. Um, so she is switching a little bit more to pre-orders before I think she was mostly RTS. Um, but now she's going a little bit more on pre-orders, but she still has that RTS option, I think for any over pours that she has from the pre-orders. So, um, the other thing I love about her is that she does offer two different sizes. So if you want to just try something, you can get just the small bag that comes in like a, a small bag like this, which is a, which are called brownie, brownie brownies, <laughs> I think. Uh, and there's six of them in here, or she does have. Uh, I know, I think she calls them snap bars, not brittles, but very similar to like a sassy girl brittle bar. Um, and so you, you have that option of different sizes. She does have clamshells and she does do shapes every once in a while. Uh, but the, the brownie bag and the, and the snap bar is definitely like the, the most common that she offers. So as far as Harper James goes and her sense that I just love so much is North Pole. And I, think this has to be like one of her most popular. Um, North Pole is um, spearmint, peppermint, and vanilla. And this is just a pretty sweet peppermint. It's almost like a buttermint because it's just a sweet peppermint and that vanilla makes it nice and creamy. This just fills up my open space. I really, really love the scent and uh, have bought more of this. So this is North Pole. As I mentioned before, I do like woodsy scents with some bakery. So this is Grinchmas. This is Fraser fir, pine, sugar cookie, marshmallow, and powdered sugar. And that is Grinchmas. And it's, yeah, it's exactly that. It's just a really... It, this is more woodsy than like a pine cone scent for sure. So you definitely have a heavier wood woodsy note, but the sweetness from the, the marshmallow and the sugar cookie is um, just such a pretty blend. So it's just, that's just kind of my preference that I do like those. All right, this one, when I got this one, this one was like, what I, I need more of this. And I inadvertently bought a different one thinking it was this one because the names are very similar. So she's got freshly baked, which is this one. She also has fresh baked bread. So I have like two snap bars of the fresh break, fresh baked bread. The fresh baked bread is fantastic. It is, but I like freshly baked a little bit more because it's got that fresh baked bread and it's got um, zucchini bread, honey, cinnamon, and vanilla. So it's like that with more. <laughs> uh, so this is freshly baked. And this is so good. If you like bakery, bready, that kind of scent, this is so fantastic. I love the honey in here. I love the cinnamon. Oh, it's just, it makes... It just makes me want to go bake some bread. It is absolutely fantastic. I love this. I, I've been hoarding this. I've like literally been using like a little cubes at a time uh, because, you know, I've been trying to be good. But this is definitely one I'm going to be warming a lot more of really soon. It's in a bin that I've been kind of putting stuff in that I want to warm in the next two months. So freshly baked. Okay. Then I have two here. I'll just kind of put them together. They're the salties. I also have salty pretzel, I think. But uh, this is salty apple and salty pumpkin. 
And both of these have like a salted pretzel, which is what makes this so good. And then the salted pumpkin is caramel, maple, and sugar cookie. And the salty apple is mac apple, caramel, maple, and sugar cookie. So both similar. One is just pumpkin. One is apple. Um, honestly, between the two, I love the pumpkin because it, I just love pumpkin more than I do apple. This is definitely like a red apple. Very strong apple, but it's, it's good. I'm not, it's good. I mean, they're both fantastic, uh, but that salty pretzel mixed with that sweet, um, you know, the, the pumpkin and the maple and the sugar cookie is absolutely fantastic. I get a buttery note in here when this is melting. It just makes my mouth water. These are fantastic. And the salty pretzel is also really good. And I didn't think I like pretzel that much, but it's, it's, fantastic. And then an honorable mention, again, these are scents that are kind of coming out now um, that you might want to consider. This is Santa's Bake Shop and this is fresh baked bread. So back to that bread, um, gingerbread, nutmeg, caramel, and maple. And that is Santa's Bake Shop. So I just really love that bread note. And that is definitely what is in here. Oh, it's just so good. So definitely getting the gingerbread, the nutmeg, a little bit of the caramel and maple. It's not, um, I mean, it's been a while since I warmed it. You definitely get the caramel and maple, but it's not so heavy. You know, sometimes it's just a little too much. Uh, this one, it's, I think, just a really nice blend of all of those things. So Santa's Bake Shop as an honorable mention. All right. Okay, I think, I think I'm lost. I think I'm down to the last one here. Um, yes. All right. Can you guess? Can you guess what this is going to be? Teddy bees, Teddy bees. Um, why? It's just her blends are amazing. Um, there, there's something she, Tiffany, who owns Teddy bees. She's in, she's like another one. That's like a blend master. She, her blends are just so creamy. Her wax is like soft as butter. Um, they're beautiful too. And she's another one that, uh, sh her set list is like pages long. So the only thing that I wish, I wish she would do is maybe offer pre-orders more often and maybe kind of maybe a little bit shrink the list a little bit and maybe more often. Um, but she does three pre-orders a year and three RTSs a year. Uh, the RTSs are literally like hunger games. Um, so that's the hard part. So I, I did participate this last round. I hadn't done an RTS before because I like, it was giving me anxiety that I'm going to go in there to get a couple things and I'm going to be only able to get one or two. Uh, she did have more, I think inventory for this RTS, but, um, but still like, I mean, some things were jumping out of people's carts within the first minute. So that's the tough part about Teddy B's, but her blends are amazing. Her cash, she uses a lot of cashmere cream, I think, or these fireside smoky notes that are just absolutely beautiful. Um, they're blended just, I, I don't think there's like any sharp notes in here or, I mean, they're just blended. They're like smooth, just like butter, just like as soft as her waxes. Uh, it's the same way. So I love that she offers so many choices and, and like everything from like dirt <laughs> to, um, hot pie to smoky scents. Uh, I mean, she's, she really offers like tea. I mean, as far as, um, tea blends that I've smelled her tea, if you like tea, you know, is a very strong tea. So I just think she's a master at blending and her wax is beautiful and all of those things. So that is why Teddy Bees is in my top because I, I will pre-order like every time I know I will, um, just because I, I've been so amazed at how beautiful these smell. So Honey Bee is one that I got because of Christine from Christine Scent Scene. She talked this up, like you have to get it, you have to get it. So I went in for a tub and now I went in and got a loaf. I got a loaf from the RTS. It is just so good. Her honey in here is fantastic. So this is sweet sugar cookies, honey nectar, 
sweet vanilla, and beech treats. I love a good honey scent and this the mix with the sweetness of the sweet treat or the beech treats in the um, sugar cookies is fantastic. So that is honeybee and come on. I mean, look at the look at that. The little <laughs> almost does look like a little bee there on the corner. Uh, so that is honeybee. I will be honest though, I've warmed the least amount of wax from Teddy Bees, but I have warmed it. Um, and it is a little lighter than some of the other vendors that I've talked about. So Sassy Girl Aroma is like consistently strong, totally performs, but here's the thing. My best friend loves Sassy Girl Aroma, her scents, and she bought a lot of Sassy Girl Aroma. And for her, she says in her, her home, it doesn't perform as well as it does mine. So every, so, you know, when I say like this really performed for me or didn't, I mean, I would say try it out in your home because everyone's going to have different experiences. Every, every nose picks up different things. Um, so she's a little bummed because she does love Sassy Girl blends, but it's not, doesn't perform as well on her. This today she's warming Teddy V, she told me, and she's like, they're like performing fantastic for her. So just something to note what I experienced may be a little different than what you experienced. So for me, they've been a little bit on the lighter side. I can smell them and they do fill the room, but they're not like, you know, super, super powerful. Um, so the other sense from Teddy Bees is Weekend with Papa. And this is, uh, let's see, Salty Sea Air, Vanilla Bean Noel, Toasted Marshmallows, Blended with Roasted Pine Cones. I love what happened to my hair. <laughs> I love pine cones. It's just, it's a thing. And it's so, so pretty. So woodsy with this kind of beach nights bakery sweetness um, is fantastic. So that is Weekend with Papa. Another one here is Escobar. So this is Palo Santo and Beach Streets. I've really found that I do enjoy Palo Santo quite a bit. Um, and I have a habit of sniffing everything. Sorry. <laughs> it's just so good. I mean, I will just go and smell things in my wax room for the hell of it. Um, Palo Santo and Beach Streets. Just absolutely beautiful, very sweet, soft smokiness, not too much, and you get a lot of that beach treats. Um, so that is Escobar. Then, um, so this is one I have not warmed. Um, a couple of these are, but again, on, on cold sniff, I just, I cannot wait to warm this. So this is The Usual Suspects. This was from her last pre-order and was also in the RTS. And this is blackberry jam, buttery shortbread cookies, toasted marshmallow on a campfire and a sweet strawberry pound cake. Um, her strawberry pound cake blend is fantastic. So definitely I can get that scent in here um, as well as the blackberry jam, which I love. And this is just so good. It's fantastic and sweet and bakery and I love it. Okay, so next is Witches Be Crazy, and this is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon, spiced vanilla. And that is Witches Be Crazy. Now, I'm starting to figure out that I do like a pumpkin pecan waffle. I didn't used to because I felt like it was like really kind of too sweet, but this is not too sweet. It's just a beautiful blend. Again, it's just, it's like everything is blended perfectly. And this is one of the things about Teddy B's. I can smell it all. I get the birthday cake. I get the pecan waffle. Um, you know, I'm getting that pinch of cinnamon, but they're not fighting with each other. Um, and that's one of the things that I just really love about her. All her blends, all the scent notes, they're, they're, yeah, they're not like one is overtaking the other. You get all of the stuff that she says is in, is in the wax. Okay, and last one, I believe this is the last one. This is Vanilla Pumpkin and Cashmere. This is Vanilla Pumpkin, Marshmallow Flush, Fluff, Cashmere Cream, and Vanilla Birch. I love her marshmallow. I love um, her Cashmere Cream. And this is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's more like a, I'd say this is a little more body care because that Cashmere Cream kind of gives a little bit more of a body care vibe, but it's, beautiful. There's something very, um, and I think she uses it 
in some of her blends. I don't see it in this one, but like sensual vanilla. And there is something very sensual and soft and pretty about um, a lot of her blends. So those are my top five. It was hard. It was hard to pick. I mean, I was thinking L3 there as well, but I don't have as much L3 as I do some of the, you know, these other vendors that I just mentioned. Um, but what I found with L3 is that when you warm that wax, it really comes alive. So um, I, I, yeah, I just didn't have enough to share to say L3, but one of my favorites from L3 is Cozy Fall Nights, I believe. Cozy Fall Nights that I have on like my must have. Um, and then there's a, uh, today's October 3rd and Hufflepuff are some of the ones that I really like. And then I do want to make an honorable mention. I know I'm breaking the rules here, um, uh, but an honorable mention only because I, I wasn't, I didn't jump on the RTS on time. I waited. I didn't wait. I just forgot about it. And then two hours later, I was like, Oh, so I only have three blends from her, but they blew me away. Uh, and I'm definitely doing her, um, I'm definitely doing her pre-order coming up in September and that is second in spruce. I I can I can already tell you that most likely she's going to she's going to be up here if if we do this again in a year or even 6 months from now, I I'm pretty sure she would be in my top 5. So second in spruce uh by Erica Kane. Uh and then um and just one that I yeah, I have so many. So I'm going to I'm going to end there because I've been trying some new new vendors. And I'll just say, if you, if you go back and watch just even like two weeks worth of my videos, you'll see some new to me vendors and just on cold sniff. Uh, so I don't want to say I haven't warmed them, um, at all. So I can't tell you how they're going to perform. Um, but, but just on cold sniff alone, blended beautifully, really happy, um, you know, and great, uh, great interaction, um, and, customer service. I guess that's what I'm going to say uh, with some of the new to me vendors that I've been um, hauling most recently. So that is it. Um, okay. It is time to tag uh, three other people, I think. And I've, I've already lost uh, track of, of who's been picked, but I'm, I'm pretty sure like uh, Michelle from Memories and Melts was picked. I think I saw her load a video earlier today. So I'm, I'm going to pick Kim from Kim Hearts Organizing. I'm almost sure that I'm almost positive that that is her channel name. I will put all the information down in the description box. I'm going to pick Susan Fitzpatrick. I know she just did an empties video and she had a lot of vendors that were in her empties video. So I'd love to hear what Susan has to say. And then I'm going to pick Stephanie from Stephanie Lo or Steph Loves Life. Steph loves life. Um, Stephanie and she has been hauling like crazy. I know doing a lot of D stashes and I would love to hear her thoughts on her top five. And again, if you haven't been picked and you want to join in, join in, do not wait to be tagged, uh, join in. And if you upload a video, just put it in my comments. I would love to see it. So thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Alexis and Summer for thinking of me and tagging me. And I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it was not easy, not easy to do, um, but it was so fun. Any video where I can go back into my stash and start sniffing around is actually quite fun to do. So thank you so much. Uh, and and happy melting. Bye-bye.